Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Raft with me, Lathrix. And, of course, welcome to the first episode of the proper series. After the last video went out, my first impressions, it seems that a lot of people do want to see the single player continued, and honestly, I'm really looking forward to continuing it myself. So this will be episode one, but there has been some progress already, and if you would like to see that, the link for my first impressions video will be in the description and probably in the comments as well. That way, I don't have to rename that video, which would just cause even more confusion. So, I'm going for the lesser of two different confusions, if that makes any sense. So, with that out of the way, what are our goals today? I think our goals are actually very simple. First of all, I would like to get much further along in the tech tree. Ooh, we can already do the medium crop plot. That's cool, but what I want is the large crop plot, which requires a hinge. Now, that requires metal ingots, I believe... The hinge even has to be learned itself. Let's have a quick look-see. Where's the advanced purifier? Whereas there's the hinge, which means we need a metal ingot. And for a metal ingot, what we're going to need is the smelter. There we are. Can smelt metal ore, sand, and seaweed. Which means we need a dry brick. Now, to get a dry brick, we need to get sand and clay, which can be found on the islands. Or at least in the shallow waters around the islands. So that is kind of our goal. Go out, get to an island, and hopefully get some more research done. Now, to get to the islands quicker, and whilst we're just sort of floating around collecting all this lovely stuff, what we need to do is make a sail, which I'm going to put right there. However, I would like it further out than that. And we need more support for that. Okay, that makes sense, which means we're going to need a wooden pillar, which I can't put there because of the research table. Excuse me, research table. I'm hoping this doesn't break you, but I do need to move you away. Thank you very, very much. Um, could just put this in the corner. Or we could put it over here. A little bit further out, maybe? Like this? Then it's in the way. Um, don't really like how it looks, though, behind the ladders. But I would like it in the corner, though. That's the thing. So maybe I'll move the ladders later. Hmm. Not sure, really. For now, we'll just put it there. Not the best place, but that's where we're going to put it just for now. And then, if I can put this here or here. Doesn't really matter since both of them are in the middle. I'll probably put one on both just to make it look better in the end. So we'll do that. And then we'll put down the wooden floor. Now, I did find out, sadly, you can't actually rotate the craft, the raft, by using the sails or the rudders. You only rotate when you hit other rafts or you hit an island, and that's how we got rotated last time. Which, honestly, is a huge shame, and it means if we get hit by a raft, there's a good chance we're going to take a long, long time to get back in the correct position. Which does mean building this raft sort of with the collectors all around it, or going in an X shape all the way through the craft is really the best idea. I think I will just put them around the edge, though. Not the most efficient way of doing it, but I think it will look better, at least in my opinion. So that's the route we're going. So now, how do I make a sail? Oh, that's beautiful. We are getting so far today, straight away, getting there with all the work. Okay, um, just thought, what we can do is put the next ceiling here, then move the ladders back and put them there, since this room will go a bit further forwards anyway. Makes sense to me. Although I do kind of like it being so open. So I guess we'll just pop this um, here, I guess. Wait, which one is the middle? You, you. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So it should be on the third one, which is this one actually in the middle. So I looked at it wrong earlier when I was trying to put down the pole anyway, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't, because it has to go between, yeah, so it couldn't have been put purposefully in the middle. Now, how do you work, and did we get that barrel? Yes, we did. First of all, grab the barrel. Thank you very much. Lots of stuff there. And let's put some more food on. Let's have a nice glass of water to continue our day. Now, how... Ahem. Ah, oh, no, I shot. Oi, you're warping through things. It's not allowed. Also, I did get told quite a lot that I did sort of mess up with the shark. Yeah, I could have jumped into the water after killing the last one, our poor precious guy, and I could have chopped its head off. Less friendly, admittedly, but still. Ooh, perfect time to test out the sails. There is a little raft over there. Let's see what we can do then. Ahem. 
what we can do then. Open. You're the wrong way around, aren't you? Doesn't really matter though. No, it doesn't matter at all. Since it gets rotated anyway and then stays in place. So if I do this, I should be going... Oh god, yeah, I am. I'm really going away from this trash line though. Although a few people told me that the trash lines sort of just spawn by themselves based on where you are over time. That's why... Well, whilst I was going from trash line to trash line, they kept on sort of spawning where I used to be, not where I was. So that would be interesting. Oh yeah, we're now right in the way of it. So the next thing I want then is the streamer, and that will always point... Oh my god, we're getting everything straight away today. That will point, I believe, in the direction which the game size is forwards anyway. So let's put this here, on the edge. Make it look nice there. Yes, yeah, so that's pointing where the trash comes from, basically, isn't it? Yeah, a slight angle. Okay, that's really cool. Now, I don't want to actually hit this thing, so let's go back where it was a little bit. But yeah, serious progress today already. Lovely. And as soon as we get some of the automated stuff, it'll be even easier. Okay, let's uh, close those sails. We shouldn't be on a collision. Oh, God, we are. We are. We are. Nope, 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 nope. Back. Okay, is that the chest? I'm assuming it is. Ali up. Hello. Thank you. Two bolts. Um, I think that they will be useful later, but right now, no real. Is that a shark attacking or did you just collect stuff as I stammer away? No, I think we may have just gently touched it then at the end. Oh, I'm hoping we did. Oh, we did. Look, it's coming at a stronger angle now. That's a little bit. Darn it. No. Why do you curse me, flying deity? Okay, well, let's get another drink. Oh, let's pour that out and get a proper drink. Hello, we have an island. We're doing everything today. So we do have the throwable anchor, so let's hope we don't actually crash into the island. And hopefully this will be tall enough that we can jump to that level. Though honestly, I don't really care so much about the trees. What I'm really caring about is the sand and the clay. Oh, also... I did read a lot of comments, and surprisingly, which I'm actually quite happy with this, surprisingly, the vast majority of people wanted me to keep the light as it was. So, at, at night time, you simply see what I see, rather than me upping it in post-production. Which means you can see very little. I'm very glad about this, because it makes my life a lot easier, because just upping the gamma of something can sometimes make it look awful, so you've got to up the contrast and do all sorts of stuff. This is far less effort for me. Now. I know we want shark bait. So, that means we need a fishing rod, I believe. Yep. As you can tell, I've done a little bit of reading at, between the last video and this one. Mostly just in-game, honestly. Just reading all of the descriptions. I haven't looked at the site or any guides or anything. Just pretty much that. Okay, let's, um... I'm assuming I can just fish while I'm there. Oh, look. That tree there is on the bottom. So, let's try and go over to that side. Let's fight against the wind a little bit. I doubt I can go backwards, but I bet I can stay in place quite well. Lovely. More potatoes for us. That salt water or fresh? Salt water, okay. Blech. Soon, we shall be at the island. A little bit of night fishing. Reminds me of my youth. Come on. I don't know when I'm meant to- Aha! It actually gives you a, a little cue. Oi, shark! We're getting this for you. Um, game. Thank you. The game wouldn't let me swap things. Darn it. We're gonna lose this. Why wouldn't it let me swap? I think maybe I was still attached to the water with it or something. I don't really know. Ooh, we're getting too close. Too close, too close. Uh, do I still have a paddle? Yes, I do. That will help us to speed things along. Yes, it will. I want to go just to the side of this, not... Oh, it's so difficult to see right now. I'm going to try and fight the water a little bit here. Perfect. Okay, down, down, down. Do the thing. Go. Do we stop? Oh, we're... Where did you... Did you just sink down under the... They are gods. 
Yeah, we have to be really careful when we set off from here. On the upside, single tree. We're going to leave that. Okay, I can't see underwater right now. It's too dark. So we're going to wait until daytime. Then I'm going to see if we can find stuff. Till then, I'm just going to cook some lovely, lovely potatoes. My poor character is probably so sick of potatoes right now. I see what happened now. When you hold down the left button, if you hold it too long, as in after you've already got the fish, you automatically start casting again. Actually, by the looks of things, you don't actually have to hold down the button. Yeah. Well, live and learn. Come on. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Thank you. Ah, shark! That's not a fish at all! Well, I mean, it's, you know what I mean. That's not a small fish at all. It's a giant evil thing. Which likes to eat boats. Don't look at me like that. You're eating my food. Now you are my food. Insert the Circle of Life song here. I mean, I, I would in editing, but I don't want to, you know, be hit by copyright and stuff. I wonder how good mackerel is, then, in terms of food. Pretty good, actually. Okay, so I, I, I need to do some more fishing. And even more stammering. Now, we need some more storage. That Okay, keep that. This is clay. Put it in there for now. Don't really need the stones just yet. And we have so much plastic, it hurts. Okay, let's try this again. So it turns out you don't actually need one of each. You just need two of any combination. Just want to make sure the shark's actually going for it. Would be nice to see. Sharky boy. Sharky. Good. Okay, back to what we're doing then. Let's just find at least one more sand. Because my fishing rod did just break, so... I bet I've missed loads. It's not exactly an obvious thing, though, with this coloration. Where is it? Okay, so I just eventually got at least three sand now. So there we are. In fact, exactly three. Wet brick can be placed on your craft to dry. Okay, let's put it on our raft. Oh, after we get stuck in everything. That's great. Um, I'll put you here next to the candle. Can we not light this candle at all? I was hoping it would actually be lightable. That would have been awesome. I also want some more torches to light up the place. Okay, well with that, I think it's time we get going. But let's make sure we don't hit the island. So, as much as you can there. Which is pretty much where you were anyway, but still. And I've got my little paddle ready. And go! We hit it a little bit. I just heard it, but still. And we're okay. Excellent. Let's try and find our next island. With our slowly drying brick. Animals! Why are you so hard to kill? Ta-da! We have the dry brick. Excellent. And I want that crate. And by crate, of course, I mean barrel. I keep calling them crates. I don't know why. Apparently, loot crates are even in barrel form now. Either way, let's put you in there. Let's research that. And that should be enough for the smelter. Lovely. And we can grab that as well. Ooh, proper storage. Either way, now we should have the ability to make the smelter, but of course that will require more dry bricks. Oh my god, it needs six of them. Yep, we're gonna have to wait until we get to another island, and hopefully we get some better results, because I could not find sand anywhere. I actually went really far out in the end. Yeah, at the start I was being really, really cowardly. I admit that completely. But now at least I know how far you actually have to go, so hopefully in the future... I will get better results. Also, I did just see a raft, didn't I? Yes, I did. Excellent. Ahem. That way, lads. And by lads, of course, I just mean me. Well, no more gathering. We have so much plastic. Ahem. I'm getting so much better at killing these things. 
I both respect you and hate you, little seagulls. My uncle actually had a pet seagull when I was young, I remember that. I was terrified of it when I was young. But saying that, I was also scared of dogs when I was very young as well, and since then I've had three different dogs, so... Things change, and I was scared of snakes, and now I have two pet snakes. Apparently, all of my fears become pets. I'm also scared of heights. How do you have a height as a pet? Almost there. A bit too far off now, though. No, no, way too far off. This way. Go, go, go. No, a little bit more. That's it. Oh, come on. They have a huge um, crop thing. It's, just, it's a shame you can't steal that kind of stuff. Oh, no, too far still. Open and that way, almost completely backwards if you can. Perfect, thank you. Not perfect, not perfect, but still close enough. Yoink. Why can't I take anything? I've even tried using the axe. Okay, I didn't see what I just grabbed. Another bolt, apparently. Loads of raw beads, so perhaps some of those. Don't really know, either way it would have been useful. Isn't it weird when you're going almost perfectly backwards? Everything seems to stop. Which does answer a question from before, though. It looks like the trash isn't actually moving. At all. Uh, oops, a daisy. That way, yeah, good. Okay, so it's correct anyway. Going to move this closer to the sail. Make it a lot easier for me to figure out which way is forward. Let's put it here. Island. Problem is, I don't actually have a fishing rod at the moment, and nowhere near enough leaves. Here's hoping... Oh, look at that, it's got a little gap in the middle. Yeah, but no lower ground, though. There's no way we're going to be able to actually get uh -huh. anything in time. Yes! Where are you? I don't know how to do this. Is it with this? What do you hit it with? I don't understand. Oh, dear God, that's creepy. Yeah, how do you get the rest of this? Oh, yes! Okay, you've got to be a really specific angle, though. Raft! Wait for me! It seems like jumping is a little bit faster, I feel. Yes! Ah, no! Bad! Stop! We don't even have an anchor! No! Look at his land! Oh, God, I'm going to crash into that. Back! Back, I say! If I were an anchor, where would I be? I forgot where the anchor is in this bloody thing. There it is. No, we don't have enough... Uh, hello? Did we get enough stuff? Maybe? We definitely have enough stone. It's just in, in the chest. Okay, okay, okay. Stone, 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 stone. Where are you? Thank you. Uh, oh dear. We're crashing into everything, aren't we? Hey. Well, we wedged us. Oh, look all the sand! Yes! It all turned out for the better. God, getting off this is going to be difficult, isn't it? Ooh, can I grab that? It's over here. Awesome. Well, the shark isn't here yet, so just killed the darn thing, and it seems like it's got a bit of a respawn time. Uh, just in case I die, let's just shove the head in there. Uh, I don't care about the feathers, I'll get more lighter problem. In fact, no, I don't care about the leaves as much. Whatever, don't care, we'll check later. In we go. One. Oh, for the love of sharks. How are you back already, you poop head? Oh, for the love of everything unholy in this universe, why do I not have enough stuff? It's such a perfect area. Well, I guess what I'm going to have to do is go down there and just take a few hits. Simple as that, because we need this. I'm not going to wait until we get to yet another island. Because that will take forever. But first, can I make another storage? That'd be great. Thank you. Uh, feathers, bolts, metal. The rest I kind of want to keep. Nah, our axe, and by axe I mean spears looking a little bit damaged up. Oh, why is rope the biggest issue right now? 
Sand right there. Here we go. You even knocked me around, you annoying thing. Oh, I'm going to just have to wait, aren't I? Oh, hello, giant clam. I think I actually missed one of those on the last island, so hurrah for that. Where's the shark? I mean, I'm not complaining. Stay away. After one or two bites, I'll go back up. Well, I'm saying that. The oxygen looks like it's going to force me up anyway. Lovely. Where is the shark? I feel non-bitten. Maybe it can smell the fact I'm actually currently cooking its brethren. Oh, I found metal. Okay, now we also know how to find metal. That's good. Okay, I'm not going to risk it now, obviously. Look at my health. How much do I have? Almost enough for four. I think I'll stick around a little bit longer. Then I'll get going. While I'm waiting... Shark trophy! I'm thinking the shark trophy should go right here. Yeah, it's the whole wall. That's all it is. Just the shark trophy. I wonder if you can put it on the... No, you can't put it on the side. You can put it on the outside, I guess. Be interesting. Could you, put on, could you put it on a regular wall? Oh, shark! And I'm stuck! Great timing there. Get off the boat. Thank you. Eh, for now I'll just put it here. I can always change it later. Oh, I can name it. Guy. That was the name of the first one. Which means this little bugger needs a name, the one currently around us. Actually, no, this is the second one. Guy Jr., then, let's call it. So we have Guy, the first shark we killed. This is Guy Jr. The third one now needs a name. Let's put it there so we can put something next to it later. Guy Jr. Lovely. Really should have made a bed, shouldn't I? You know what? For now, I am actually going to leave. I did just grab the other giant clam there, so let's make sure... We're going the correct way so I don't bang into it anymore like that. I just saw you, Seagull. Death from above! Oh, not death from above. Just from above. And remove. Go, go, go! Don't rotate too much, please. Would be helpful. Let's make a bed and cool to die and end, I think. Goodbye, island. Oh, is that building on top? That's interesting. Ah. Here's to you, Guy Jr. You were evil, but you were also highly, highly nutritious. What I really should do, now I'm thinking about it, is protect all of these with a layer of regular flooring. This way, the shark won't bite all of these all the time. I just kind of like how it looks, though, is the problem. And we have a new spear. Hurrah for that. Here's to you again, Guy Jr. Now, speaking about Guy Jr., let's put a bit of his flesh back on the, uh, on the old Barbie. Lovely. May as well make those bricks while I'm just waiting around, I suppose. Nothing on the horizon just yet. Lots of plastic, though. Yeah, don't make it obvious. You need a name. Come on, we're one off. Need a little bit more wood. Since we have plastic for days. I know that's going to get caught anyway, but that was faster. And I am lazy. Ta-da! Well, impatient, I think is the right word there. Then if I put one here, and then one over there, then the shark can't get it from any other angle. Then I think that's as wide as I want the main body of the raft. Oh, speaking about rafts, there's a little one over there. Grab some plastic from one of these. Uh, you... 
There we go. Now the more expensive pieces are, are nice and protected, just in case I don't reach them in time. Which has happened a few times now. It cost me a lot of resources. Let's go like this so we have more control. Lovely bit of weather for this. Okay. Stop as still as you can. It's on the top. Oh, it's going to be a nightmare to reach in time. Okay, let's get on the rafts a little bit lighter than usual. There we go. Now it starts sinking. Grab that. Got some scrap, some metal. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And there's a shark right next to me. Hello. And you missed. How about that then, lad? Oh, God. This is sickening, isn't it? Goodbye, Scarecrow. So many people must have died. Oh, let me guess. The rain undoes the drying process. I mean, it would make a lot of sense. Where are all the leaves? Okay, I'm going to go like this and along and then leave these two areas open to the water. And I'll count that as like diving areas when we're next to the islands. Yeesh. Also, palm leaves is what I was meant to call them. Did I call them vine leaves earlier? I feel like I've been calling it that weirdly all day. I keep trying not to. Ooh, you're not at full health. I also keep on forgetting to heal these to full. There we go. We have a bed. Hmm. I mean, we can always move it later, because this shack will be much larger later. But for now, we get to sleep with Guy Jr.'s watchful eyes above us. Ah. I'm guessing that allows us to heal faster still. I know it said more health when you respawn. I'm guessing that's after death. I didn't finish this side, did I? Either that, or a shark ate it and I didn't even realise, because I was probably alt-tabbed for a second to sort out the video. Yeah. Yay, dry bricks. So we have three of them, and I'm stuck. One new fishing rod. Lovely. So now we have everything we need to try and get some more sand and clay. But with that, I'm afraid I really am all out of time for today's video. I feel like the progress was a lot slower today than it was in the last video, but we do have a lot of stuff sorted now. We have almost enough to go ahead and build our smelter, and more importantly, we have actually researched it. You go there, you go here. We have our sail as well, that was one of the major goals. And we have a lot of shark meat and a lovely new trophy. Overall, progress was definitely made. And once we have the smelter and the automatic purifier and stuff, then we're going to get a lot more progress. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. And of course, if you have enjoyed the video, then likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Raft is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Apparently I'm far too distracted to even remember the outro. And we completely missed that island because it's very hard to see what's going on right now. Thank you. And goodbye, again.